All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time. It looks like we got a bunch of people coming on here already. We got, uh, man, Linda, Dave, Savan, Derek, good to have you guys on here. Hey, as we just start getting going here, I'd love to do a quick little sound check. Just uh, let me know if you can hear me as we get going here. I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Just type in a quick, yes, I got you, hear you. All right. Hello, Dave from Chicago. G cool. You can hear me. Great. It's loud and proud. All right. Sherry from Culver City, California. Thank you. Looks like you can hear me good. All right. We got Julie from Prescott, Arizona. Wow. Hey, I love that little place. I haven't uh, been there in years, but man, it's good to have you here. Hey, so as we get going, I would also love to hear from everybody. You know, what's what's the market like in your place? Is it is is it burning hot like it is down here in, in Southern California? I'd love to hear. What's it like? What's the marketplace like here? Okay, I see Jessica says, all caps, on fire. Wow, all right. I, I hear you. Uh, Sylvia says, warm. Okay, where are you at? Where's that at? Where's the warm? Atlanta. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's see. I see a lot of people saying hot, hot, low inventory, no inventory. Yes, I see a lot of people here. Okay, hey, I hear you. That's uh, I, that's how it is for us as well, man. Very, very tough market and and uh, exciting, moving fast. Is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so um, by how by just uh, typing one, how many of you guys are new to real estate, or how many of you guys are are seasoned? If you're seasoned, type two. If you're new to real estate, type one. Okay, uh, we got a bunch of twos coming in here. Two, right? Two ones, couple handful of ones. Oh, Justin says three. What? Oh, must be next level. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, for those of you guys that are seasoned, I would love to also kind of know. Hey, what are the what's the average deals that we're doing out there in your market right now? Whether you're wholesaling, rehabbing, using whatever exit strategy, what kind of deal profits are we seeing out there? I know in our office, we're seeing some really, really strong uh, profits out there. So, um, you know, this is a moment to brag. So what do you guys got? Let's see. Let's see here. Don't be shy. Okay. Oh, Mark says 50. Julie, 35. Okay. Yep. Jim, 400. What? Jim, <laughs> 400? Wow. On an average? Okay. Well, Jim, uh, after this... <laughs> presentation Jim let's talk that sounds great oh you said 4t not 400 nah got you okay makes a little bit more sense okay well man I appreciate everybody you know as we get started there's going to be a couple times uh where we will jump into the chat and answer some questions I'm going to hold off till the middle part of the presentation and then again at the end so I appreciate all the feedback feel free to use the chat box as we go through the presentation but just know I'm, I'm going to really uh, focus here uh, on the cons on the presentation really uh, dive into this and then we'll we'll get to your questions in the uh, middle part and or at the end of the presentation and um, in fact you know I'm going to shut down the camera here I can I want to make sure that we have a really good strong bandwidth for everybody I want to make sure that you guys are all focused on the content at hand because we have put a lot of work into this presentation and I just want you guys to get the most out of it. This is really, really impactful stuff and uh, no need to be distracted and, and no need to have any sort of uh, internet trouble. So uh, I'm going to shut down the camera. We're going to get rocking. I know you guys are going to get a ton of value out of this presentation and I really look forward to rocking and rolling. So let's get started. So five simple secrets to seller appointments that convert. So what we've put together here is a path to creating a business that thrives without you. Now, this is a challenge in real estate, so pay attention here because we really, really put something special together for everybody. So let's get rocking right into this thing. So who is this for in general? Like, I want to make sure everybody's clear on who we're talking to here. We're talking to real estate professionals. We're talking to wholesalers. We're talking to rehabbers. And frankly, we're talking to agents and brokers as well. These Anybody that is interacting with sellers on the front end of a transaction. So whether your exit strategy is any one of these, this is who we're talking about. We are really looking for the people that 
are interacting with sellers that want to close more transactions with better systems so you can grow and achieve the true time and financial freedom. That is the goal and that's what we're gonna be covering. So yes, we're gonna get going. I got some a really powerful 90 minutes here. So in the next 90 minutes, we're gonna be covering five critical things. Number one, how to create accurate and quick property analysis to avoid the deal killing price reductions. Okay, number two, we're gonna be going over the professionalism and the credibility hacks you must showcase to win transactions. Number three, we're gonna do the one secret weapon that closes deals consistently for thousands of people nationwide. And the fourth, technology at your fingertips to leverage for all of these profits and gain your business growth. Now, the fifth and last but not least, the hidden advantage to scaling your business so you can own more of your time. Now, as we all know, time is the most precious commodity. So this is what everything that we're gonna be talking about is really how to get more out of your time and more out of your business. It's all about creating as much time freedom as you possibly can. And I can't wait to show you guys over the next nine minutes. So my promise to you is to show you our step-by-step -step strategy to creating seller appointments that convert to streamlining exponential business growth, paving the path to a business that thrives without you to truly gain time and financial freedom. This is what we're all striving for. So let me ask you, does this sound like you? Are you nervous about the wrong numbers at a seller appointment? Are you hesitant about presenting low ball offers that are losing your deals? Do you struggle with getting contracts signed at the appointment? How about, are you fighting the rejected offers, trying to convince sellers to accept your low offer? Are you battling to scale your acquisitions, working all of these long hours, right? I can relate with all of you guys. Are you feeling drained, constantly working in your business rather than on your business? This is the key, okay? And this is so, so common out in the real estate professional world that, that we all live in. And I'll tell you that there is a problem out there. My market's too competitive. I hear this all the time, man, I hear you right? The seller expectations of value are just too high to the market's too competitive. I don't have time to deal with all this. Well, of course, yes, these are problems. Okay. But these are all symptoms of a greater problem. You see, you just haven't made these key shifts in your business yet. So the bigger the problem, the bigger the solution. And that's what we're here to talk to you guys today about. So once you make these few key shifts, you're gonna experience accurate analysis. You're gonna have more closed transactions. You're gonna be more profitable in your business. You're gonna have more time to work on your business so you can actually scale your business. You're gonna have just flat out more time in general so you can be with your family and all of the things that we desire with our time, okay? So the one thing that you need to know and for some of us, this is obvious. You need a system, right? We've all heard this, we've all read the book and everything in our business really revolves around the system. Is your system working for you or against you? So you need a system that provides consistent accuracy, allowing you to make quick calculations on offers. Okay? You need a system that allows you to walk away from seller appointments with a signed contract. You need a system that removes the need to convince sellers of accepting your offer. You need a menu of yes options that are the solutions to closing the deal. This is the difference. You, where you need a system that you present, they choose it, and everyone wins. This is the system that we're talking about today, folks. So stick with me. This is a, a really, really powerful principles that, that I can't wait to just break down and share with everybody. And this is something that Richard Branson said and really struck me. And so I wanna share it with you guys. There is no greater thing that you can do with your life and work than follow your passions in a way that serves you and the world, right? So this is something that I've been just connected with and, and really um, have, have found um, my passion in. And, and so just a little quick introduction as to who I am. 
So I'm a career real estate professional. I've been uh, a real estate professional for over 20 years. My father is a real estate appraiser and, and I got my appraisal license right out of high school and, and appraised for the first six years of my career uh, before I got my broker's license and, and eventually transitioned into real estate investing back in 2006, right when the whole market started to go crazy. I'm sure you guys remember that. Well, as an appraiser, I had the front row seat for that and I was fortunate enough. That really led me down an interesting path of real estate investing and I met some really strong entrepreneurs during that time and I started managing and all of their marketing and acquisitions for some of the top investors in the country. And so I did that full time for a number of years, did uh, over 300 seller appointments in, in one year, closed hundreds of transactions, uh, just really jumping into the the high uh, paced business of real estate investing and, and really loved it. And that led me down to uh, a spot where I was able to then train a, hundreds of real estate investors across the country uh, through the company that I was working for. And, and it was just a tremendous opportunity all the way around. And, and it gained me a reputation for being the investor's coach, which uh, I hold near and dear to my heart because, you know, what that really tells me is, I, you know, I'm somebody that that really walks the walk and talks the talk. You know, that's that's something that I pride myself on and it's really important to me. So somebody that I've spent a lot of time with, especially reading all of his books and, and all of his audio is Tony Robbins. And something that has really stayed with me over the years is if you want to be successful, find somebody who has achieved the results that you want and copy what they do and you'll achieve the same results. So that is exactly what I did. I really took that to heart and I modeled that. And so, uh, like I said, in 2006, I met some really uh, strong entrepreneurs. Uh, Than Merrill is, is one of the gentlemen that you, you may have heard of. He, he runs Fortune Builders and CT Homes and we are just one of their first students and we studied underneath them. We uh, soaked in everything that we could, uh, growing our own business, flying under the wing of Than and, and all of the guys there. But it didn't just stop there, you know, learning and being a part of the learning process is important. But one of the best ways to learn is to teach. And so when I got invited to be one of their uh, speaker trainers, I leaped at the opportunity and I traveled around the country on their behalf, teaching small groups of people in their market, um, over 100 major markets uh, across the country and Canada, uh, teaching all these students how to break down the systems of real estate investing, how to crunch the numbers, how to analyze the properties in their markets. And that was a time in my life where I really got the boots on the ground and really felt the heartbeat of all of these different markets across the country and Canada. And in San Diego here at the home base of Fortune Builders and CT Homes, this is an event that I got to create. We broke down every single system that we used at CT Homes to buy, fix and sell over a hundred transactions a year. And so uh, every single month I would host uh, their highest level uh, students into their our office here in San Diego and I would break down all of our systems. I would do case studies of all of the deals and transactions that we're doing. How did we get them? How do we analyze them? We broke down, we did field trips out to the properties and everything. It was a really, really fun experience. And, and man, I loved meeting so many people out uh, doing that. And all while I was teaching and doing uh, real estate, I was doing over 300 seller appointments in a single year myself, uh, which was, Again, just a tremendous experience and, and really helped me gain uh, mastery of the seller appointment process and negotiating uh, single family residential houses. So after I transitioned from that, there was another calling that I had and, and it was something that I learned going through my personal development and professional development was NLP, was its Neuro Linguistics Programming. And that's something that I first learned and heard about from Anthony Robbins. And this is the techniques that he uses to unleash the, the greatness within, within people and, and really unlock the keys to success for so many people. And it always had my deepest level of interest. And so after you know, um, continuing my education, that was a, a spot in that I really wanted to pour into. So I am now a certified NLP performance coach. I went through and got my NLP practitioner license, my hypnosis training license, my timeline therapy license, and 
uh, and I'm now a certified NLP results coach. So not only do I use that on um, personally to on myself, but I am so proud to be able to help my clients using these types of techniques and really unlocking the power within. But not to mention myself, uh, my wife, she actually went through the training with me and uh, we are dedicated to this uh, as a couple and as parents because we really uh, believe in the power of of your mind and we've seen incredible things uh, happen with just the control and awareness of how you approach your subconscious mind and and we are together doing this to benefit our family and to really help our children develop into the best versions of themselves that they can be so uh, tremendously exciting and and uh, i love every moment of that so um, but let's get into the shifts. This is where the really the rubber hits the road. I appreciate everybody bearing with me and taking a second to get to know my story and my path. I hope you guys have a lot of confidence in knowing that everything that I'm telling you guys is not only something that I uh, know and teach, and, and but I actually do it on a very high level. I run a team. We, this is something that we do all the time. And so these shifts are practiced all the time in our office. So the five shifts that we're going to be going over. These are the five critical shifts that you must make to close more seller appointments and create a scalable, scalable business that doesn't rely on your own time so you can truly thrive. So the first critical shift, shift number one, is the consistency in analysis and the numbers. Getting your numbers right from the beginning. Okay, so this really showed up for me, you know, as I transitioned and was working from my own business and into now CT Homes as a real estate professional. CT Homes is a is a power player here in San Diego County. So when I had the opportunity to work with them and to step in to drive more seller appointments, really what that meant was that it was my job to go get more leads, bring more leads into this company and, and close more transactions. And I guess I had all of the support of of my man Theron Merrill and uh, the marketing budget that they supplied me with really allowed the opportunities to exist. So I'm again, I'm so grateful for that, but this was no joke. And which really, uh, as we started to scale the business here, we ran into the first major you know, problem or, or issue, bottleneck, if you will. The more seller appointments that we created, exposed an internal and external issue okay internal my analysis was suffering because i was just doing more transactions i was getting spread thinner and thinner okay and as a consequence the external appointments so at my appointments they started to suffer because my analysis wasn't as on point so the process wasn't as smooth so the more appointments that i created the more i was getting spread thinner and thinner which made my appointments not as great. And so it was kind of like this, uh, it was like one thing after another working against me from, I just wasn't at the efficiency level that I needed to be. So the first change that I had to make was that I had to get more efficient. I had to understand the numbers better up front. okay? This was becoming a major problem. And the equation was re really starting to show itself. It was quite simple. You know, you only have a certain amount of time in the day and then how many transactions you have on your plate. I needed to create an efficiency step here. And solving for X was gonna equal the shift, the first shift. So we dug internally. We wanted to figure this out. We needed to get to that X factor. So we looked at hiring help. Should we just be hiring more people? Was more human capital the answer? Should we be uh, enrolling our contractors, people that we already work with us to, to help with this process? Or should we be leveraging technology to, to create more efficiencies? Where was the answer? Well, we, as we dug deeper, we figured out the answer. The answer was a better deal analyzer. It all revolves around technology. And so, frankly, the deal analyzer that we had was a little bit cumbersome and, and we weren't using it at the, the highest level. When we poured into our deal analyzer and our upfront numbers, the better the transactions would go down the chain. And so we needed to re uh, create something that was going to take us to the next level. And this is exactly what we did. So we, we created a deal analyzer that has a repair budget as well as the deal uh, analysis connected. 
So now we could run our numbers, our rehab budgets, sight unseen right there, just based off of the conversations that we're having, and then get right into the deal analysis. And then having your deal analyzer broken down in such a simple way allows for that clear picture to really reveal itself. So it's so it's everybody starts to build confidence around the numbers that you're speaking. Okay, the more clear and precise the numbers are on the front side, you may, you can make more clear decisions, right? So you'll know your net profit, your gross profit, your your ROI, your net margins, all of the things that we use in our mar in our office to determine whether it's a deal or no deal quickly. The key here is quickly. The faster you can do this, the faster you get through all of the, you know, whether it's a deal or not a deal, okay? And so as well as not only on the numbers on that side, but it became really clear that we needed to hone in the accuracy of our rehab numbers. The, how much money were we going to be putting into the transactions as we made our offers? So we needed to streamline this process, and that's exactly what we did. We built out a full system that made it easy, that made it uh, quick and simple for us to plug it in and be accurate right from the onset. That created a trickle effect of accuracy that we could all start to really, really depend on. That was key. Now, this is a a, a, a testimonial from one of my clients that, that's really, really um, fitting for him on this topic was because he was struggling with the consistency. So I'll, I'll use his words. I was consistently off in what I was projecting my profits to be, and I was losing opportunities and posture, having to go back to the sellers and seek reductions in, in the price so I could profit. This small shift was so powerful. Now I'm more accurate in less time. And as a result, I'm doing more deals. I can see my business growing. Thank you, Jean-Luc. I appreciate all of your hard work and your dedication to implementing these systems. And it's inspiring to watch your business grow. So thank you so much. And, and really, this is so, it's important to understand growth and how this affects us. You know, uh, Abraham Maslow says this, if you either step forward into growth or you will step back into safety. And quite frankly, you know, as we made that shift from that first shift that I just explained, all of a sudden I found myself accidentally stepping back into safety. All You didn't even realize it as the fog set in and the, and the storm was kind of settling in, you didn't even realize what was going on and we we're starting to slow down. I don't know if any of you guys have, have been through an experience like this where, where all of a sudden you just can't see too far in front of you. The fog sets in and you're all of a sudden you're up against the windshield and you go from going really fine to all of a sudden, woo, you're kind of slowing down and you're getting really tense. This was the feeling that all of a sudden happened and I knew that this was the the time for the next breakthrough, the next critical shift. And that's where we were. So the next critical shift really came into with the preparation and credibility aspect of our presentation. So as we started to you know, go into or, or get better results and, and be uh, more competitive in the marketplace, we started to compete against higher level professionals, higher agents that were really established, that had all their ducks in a row, that were super polished, investors that were making quick decisions and, and uh, just rocking the, the game. So we need to level up. I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do it, but I knew I needed to level up because you guys, you're right. It's freaking competitive out there. It's competitive in every market. It's competitive across the country and there's no different here in San Diego. I was feeling it massively. It was just com flat out competitive out there. So what were, what were we going to do about it? That was the question. How are we going to stand out in this crowd? You know, the, when everybody was a listing agent, everybody was an investor, it seemed like the whole world was was crowded with this, this being a, an investor. And, and I, I needed a differentiator. I needed something that pulled me out of the crowd so that I could I could stand on my own, you know, and, and really, really um, provide that special service to our clients and that, that um, you know, really in, instill confidence in our clients. So I, I spent a lot of time thinking about this. We, we went, you know, frankly, I mean, I, I spent, um, I mean, I really racked my head. I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. And, and, you know, really you, you find that you're, 
you're only as good as the people that you compare yourself to. And, and I had to be honest with myself. And, and really, I was kind of focused on some of the old, more beginner style techniques. And, um, you know, that was kind of limiting me. And, and I wasn't, I hadn't um, evolved past that first level of investor uh, language even just the way i was presenting so i was stepping into some of the the rookie mistakes what i call rookie mistakes now is is i was using language like hey well we buy all cash you know we we can close in seven days or we pay all the closing costs or you know no realtor fees with my offer you know and, the, and those are all great okay but really one of one of my mentors he says it really well it's he says that confusion kills sales in confidence transfers that really really stuck with me and and i'll tell you that that i had to really pull from that as i made this next shift so i wanted to i wanted to put together something that that created some clarity that ha that instilled confidence to my clients i knew if i created enough clarity and confidence that this would lead to more closings this is how i was going to make it happen so I wanted to leverage the ex ex expertise and experience of my team so that, that I could let the confidence of my team transfer to my clients. You know, I really, it wasn't just about me. It was about the collective effort of all of the professionals that, that are on my team, that we represent. And really being able to, you know, kind of sell them as a, along with my cash offer was really something I wanted to to crack into and, and really um, to 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 enhance right so I wanted to address some of the questions that were coming up and get myself out of that reaction mode where I was just kind of reacting to what the sellers were saying in a certain moment uh, I wanted to be able to address you know kind of um, uh, get in front of those questions handle those objections up front i wanted to let my past clients experiences be highlighted so that they could you know let their words be told and you know frankly i just needed my team to be edified you know my i have uh, such a powerful team and and as we all do when you work with a really um wonderful real estate team you really want to shine let that shine so this needed to be crystal clear so I put this together and this is what we we created a system that put everybody out in front of my clients and put us all together into our own category. This the way we dis displayed the professionalism together was all the difference in the world. So we systematically we changed our presentation so we always had the correct templates in place that allowed us to show our gratitude. So it, so it made it feel very custom and, and uh, personal to our clients. We, we highlighted each part of our team so that whenever I was meeting with a seller, again, it wasn't just about me and my cash offer. They got to see that we have uh, a greater part of our team, that there was more people uh, behind this. This just really upped the professionalism. Right, and that confidence really started to transfer and show up to our clients. I would show them who our preferred title and escrow partners are, so that they knew. Because I, I can almost guarantee you, just about every one of my seller appointments, they would ask, you know, well, who do we open title and escrow with, or whatever else. And, and uh, oftentimes I wasn't doing a great job of of explaining who these people were. So I really wanted to do a great job there. And, and we put all of that together. We put together our testimonials. And this was the credibility that really allowed that second shift to show up, putting all of these pieces together, right? You stack these things together and, and then show that all of our clients, the comps. When we go and I meet with my clients, I wanted them to have the confidence in, in, the, in a transparent setting so that they knew how I came up with my opinion of value, how I, where my offer came from. That needed to be clear because when, if you try to negotiate without the comps and out that, it, it seems, um, you know, that's not as trustworthy. There's not as much confidence behind the numbers. So I really wanted to, to do that. And, and then making this, process as clear as possible once they commit 
to moving forward. So we, one of the things that we have in our packet here is that we outline exactly what happens after they sign a contract. You know, we sign the contract, they, we submit the contract, the operations team reaches out, the inspections, the ongoing updates prior to the sale. All of these things are really clear and spelled out for our clients so they know exactly what's going on. Right. This all resulted in a stronger rapport and outstanding reputation in the marketplace. This showed up almost immediately. It was so strong. In fact, like it was crazy how well our clients took to this and uh, so much so like when when we would get con properties under contract, they would just like they would reference the they would act like they knew everybody on the team. They would reference it. It was just the testimonials started just go through the roof because they really felt like they were part of it. It was just incredible to be uh, to see that really play through. And and this was uh, really rang true for a client of mine, uh, Harold here. And as a new investor, I needed an edge. And I'm glad I found it. Eric B. from Real Estate Funnel Systems is a championship caliber coach. Making the shift to using the system has given me the confidence and clout I needed to stand out and be an all-star player in my competitive market. Being new isn't an excuse for me anymore. Man, uh, my hat's off to you, Harold. Man, you, you nailed it on this. And it was really awesome to see you step into that level of confidence, just as if you were seasoned and your results showed. So, man, thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, I can't wait. So, you know, as we as we get this all together, you know, and, and, and all the pieces of the puzzle are starting to really line up. Sure enough, I'm up against the next wall, the next plateau. So we, as good as things are going, there's this, this next challenge was, was, had all of me. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I had to break through it. I knew that I had to put on my cape and I had to get on after it. So we did, we needed to shift through this critical third shift. Okay. And this came down to the true solutions that we could provide. You know, see at seller appointments, ultimately I felt like Man, there was just an elephant in the room. You know, when, when you go into a seller appointment, it, it was the elephant in the room. Tell me if you guys have ever felt like this. Please, I, I would love some comments here. If When you go in and you meet with a seller, they feel like uh, you're just going to lowball them or they're waiting for that, that uh, you know, nasty investor to come in there and, and um, you know, try to shove this low offer down and, and tear apart their house and all these different things. And so, like man, that was kind of the stage that I consistently felt myself walking into. No matter how good my credibility was, they were still just kind of that elephant in the room, if you will. And so I really wanted to address that. And, and as I, I would address that my cash offer and, and work with my clients on this, the, at the end of the day, it oftentimes came down to this napkin math scenario where we would start drawing out the benefits of, you know, hey, what, if you listed your uh, your property, you would get this amount and then you got to subtract your commissions and then the closing costs. And then, you know, don't forget your holding costs. And, you know, you, let's do some math here and we're getting out our calculators and, you know, your your net would be something like this. And man, you know, what about the days on market? How long does that take? Oh, gosh, how confusing does this get? Man, this was like you can just start to see all of the confidence that I came to the table with started to deteriorate on the napkin, right? As we're starting to write down the napkin math and I'm trying to justify my cash offer versus, you know, well, I think I could list it for 445 and you're offering me 400 and, you know, why would I take even consider your 400 offer? And, and really it came down to them not understanding the math very well. And, and what did this lead to? Man, Price fights. This is what I call price fights, where you, my, you know, what I can offer you, what they want to accept, and you're, 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 um, you're fighting over value and price. And this happens a lot, uh, man. Especially uh, for for those of you that um, are new or don't have a lot of experience when you're negotiating on properties like this, the price fight is uh, so common, and it's one of the fastest ways to to kill rapport and kill deals is to get in an argument with the seller about the value of the property. And it seems like a really kind of logical thing to do um, when you don't know. But uh, man, price fights are horrendous, and it's a, it's a stacked deck because you know, we all know that, that uh, most homeowners don't 
know what it truly costs to uh, renovate a house or to uh, do the transaction themselves or any of the other options. So, uh, man, I I always think back, you know, when I'm when I'm talking with sellers and they're, we're talking about, you know, we're in a price fight and and I'm telling them how much money their house is going to need to fix it. And they're telling me, oh, that's too much. And I, I always think about this movie. I don't know. How many of you guys know which movie this is? This is I'll give you a little extra credit for this one. If you guys know which movie this is and who directed it for the, the bonus, um, man, I'd love to hear from you. This is this is a good one. I can see in the comments. Oh, man, you guys already knew this. This was an easy one, I guess. <laughs> This is an old movie, but it's a really good one. And and what you guys remember is um, Tom Hanks, he bought this house and he thought that it was going to, you know, cost, you know, whatever, a small budget and a small amount of time. And the, as the story goes in this brilliant comedy, it just highlights uh, how much of a of a time suck and, and um, how, how heavy that can be on on the clients. And so most people just don't understand that. But the problem... And what really what I'm getting at here is that when I was had one option for my clients, which was my cash offer, I kept beating that over my client's head as that was the best thing, you know, like, hey, you know, all of these reasons why my cash offer was the best thing for them to do. And that got old after a while. And, I, you know, the elephant was still in the room because they were they didn't like the napkin math or they're still considering other things. And and that really led to an issue, you know. Here I am trying to convince a seller one thing and trying to do pull all the stops off for for my cash offer. But how often was the, my competition, whether it was a listing agent or the other, you know, other investor that they're talking to is just sitting right outside the house. Right. And the minute that I walk outside that house and if I don't have a signed contract, who's going in after me? Right. Man, that used to drive me crazy. It seemed like that was happening all the time. And so. You know, like every time I left that house without a signed contract, I knew like there was just going to be somebody going in right behind me that was just going to $1 up my offer or over promise a listing and boom, there goes my, my deal. So that was such a killer. Um, so I needed a way to just communicate the truth behind the numbers. I needed to, to head that off. I needed to, um, you know, really handle all of that before my competition got there so um you know and i, I wanted it clear to my my uh my clients that that i do make i make offers based on two different factors and and this is not a low ball offer scenario the the two factors that i may that i weigh in when i'm making my offers is the condition of the the market and the condition of the property so what are the comps What's the condition of the market? And then match that up with the condition of the property. Those two factors really tell me how much I can offer for your property. It's just that simple, right? There's no low ball uh, aspect of it. That's just the way it is. So now but what my clients need to know is what they would net after, you know, what they would really net after they list it. Okay. So, so that they really could understand um, what the you know way the apple to apple and I needed them to to understand how much they would net after if they were to fix the property up and then sell it see what I found was that my clients were were considering one of three options whether they were saying it or not this is what was happening I was going in there with my cash offer but really they were also weighing in well what if I list it how much would I make if I listed it? And or, well, should I fix it up and then sell it? So they're weighing, should I sell it cash for sale by owner? Or should I fix it up and then sell it? Or should I list it? Those are the three things that they were almost always considering whether they were talking to me about it or not. And almost always, if I was, if I didn't handle this, they would, we would get into some sort of confusion and, and answer, you know, try to, work this out in person on the napkin map and confusion kills sales. So this was an issue all the way around and I needed to address it up front. So I went to the drawing board. So we went to and and we started scratching out like how can we address this? How can we get ahead of this? How can we educate our clients of the numbers for what they are? Real numbers, the net 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 scenario so that they, they could really make the best scenario decision based on their current um, position that really um, 
benefited them. So, and I needed this to be clear, right? So we went to the drawing board. I wanted to provide a menu of yes options so that they can move forward with clear, with clear, precise confidence, right? The, I knew if I did this in a, in a way that inspired confidence that they would say yes. So this is what we set out to do. Okay, the result was a system where I would present multiple options, the client would choose from the options, and then everyone would win. It was just going to be that simple. This is what we were going to do. And no more napkin math, right? I needed all this to happen in a clean, precise way. Okay, but this presented another challenge. So if I'm going to make it so clear to my clients of how much they would net if they were going to list it, versus how much they were going to net if they were going to work with me as an investor, this kind of presented a natural challenge of I'm kind of, you know, as a lot of people would say, you know, uh, you're, you're giving them all the answers to the test. So what makes you think that they're going to accept your cash offer if you know that they, if you're going to show them that they could potentially net more going the other way? Okay. So I needed this to be answered. Okay. And now, this was a big moment for us, and, and um, Marianne Williamson says this really well, and, and so I want to highlight it here. It's our key to transforming anything lies in our ability to reframe it. So I was up against a real challenge. You know, with, with I knew I wanted to bring this level of clarity, but I was also going to be exposing myself to my competition of a real estate agent. And so, frankly, <laughs> I did as Luke and, and Vader did. I joined forces. I joined forces with the top real estate agent. And I wanted to really highlight this and bring this level um, of service to my clients. So I could then team up with the real estate agent and know if, if the option for listing was gonna be better for them, they chose that option because it was the best for them that I could give them a great solution. I could have that solution with me, right? So that when they chose that everyone would win. Now, how would I win as the investor? I would win by collecting a referral fee, a referral agreement from the li my listing agent, right? So that there is a way for me to monetize that lead when it goes the other direction, right? So I worked it out there. And that way, when I presented, the really sincerely i could present all the options i could present the where the giant, the client could choose and then everyone would win and no napkin math this took all of the pressure off of the seller appointments i was able to create three different solutions that were like hey you can pick any one of these and and i think any one of them is going to be a great solution for you i just want you to have clarity and confidence this is how we're doing it this secret weapon, this one right here, this one, this one document upped my seller appointment ratio or my close ratio up to 33%. So this, this net sheet allowed exactly what I'm just talking about, the, the net, net, net breakdown. So I, the option number one, the yes option number one is how much they would net with the cash option. Then the second option is if they were to decide to fix it and then sell it. Then the third option was if they were to list it on the open market and pay the standard commission and everything else, how much they would net in that, in that scenario. This was the secret weapon, the net sheet, the client net sheet, man, brought all of the clarity, addre addressed the elephant in the room, brought everything together and really allowed a systematic approach to the sales process. Now, so now my, tr my seller appointments transforms into, now I have my notes that lead into my credibility packet. So my cover page and my team, everything that goes along with that. Then I have my subject property information so that we, we knew exactly what we were talking about with the seller, their property, the subject property. Then we'd bring in the comps. So we'd look at the comps, break down the comp analysis as we did that then that would lead right into the decision making of the net sheet and the offer paperwork. This systematic approach allowed for a whole nother level uh, of um, results for us in our office. Man, this, this 
in combination, putting all of this together was the keys that was unlocking that next level. So one of my clients here, uh, Richard says it really well. I've been in real estate my whole life and I thought I'd seen it all. I thought my strategy didn't need to change. Nope. I was throwing money in the trash and I didn't even realize it until I made the shift. It's all about getting deals done and helping others out. And I'll never go back to the way I was conducting business before. Thank you, Richard. Man, I appreciate it. And it's really cool because I know your clients love you for this. And uh, man, you've really embraced it. So awesome, buddy. Um, so as a recap, these are the three critical shifts that we've covered so far. If you're sticking with me, how many guys are with me? Real, I'm going to check in with the chat box real quick. How many guys? Okay, how many guys are you can see relate with any one of these shifts anybody relate okay i see some all right yes okay you guys are with me awesome awesome okay i'm going to keep going here good to know that you guys are with me appreciate it all right so here's a quick recap on the three critical shifts the the first shift that we're, we talked about was the accuracy getting your numbers accurate from the onset that allowed this the transaction the best foundation to have a smooth existence a smooth closing uh, the credibility that allowed the professionalism to really show and, and allowed me to separate myself from the herd when I've really presented with that level of professionalism and uh, communicated our team uh, the way we did huge shift then the third shift that I just talked about was having solutions for our clients having a menu of yes options that we could facilitate in any one direction bringing the ultimate clarity and confidence to our clients those were the three shifts that we talked about so far and all of those led to yet the next bottleneck the fourth shift so believe it or not i know we're cooking around here uh you would think that we're we're making a ton of progress in which we were frankly we were making a ton of progress but as you grow just like anything you plateau again and this is another challenge we we're up against our next bottleneck and that was the speed of implementation right now we had all this great system where we have we're having great seller appointments we're having great uh, testimonials things are really really coming together but now it was starting to really slow us down believe it or not all of this prep work and this level of um you know uh, paperwork that it took to display the professionalism started working against us man so many pages to print right when you saw i just went through the the notes the subject information the comps all of that stuff really i started to add up okay and i know this was not what i was thinking at the beginning of this uh this um this evolution in my business i was not expecting this to be a challenge but um I knew I'm not a huge fan of paper in general, just, you know, paper everywhere, clutter. And I knew there was going to be a better way. But man, the minute I started having trouble with my printer in these critical moments, this is when I just couldn't handle it any longer. You know, the, the battle of the printer really started showing up in the office when I started having so many seller appointments and I'm needing to print out so many pieces of paper in order to, you know, make my system work really well. Uh, man, I, I can't even, it was so frustrating to have your printer run out of ink or the cartridge this or what, you know, whatever the, the printer issue, it's just connecting, you know, we all know, man, this started stressing me out because I would, uh, go, you know, have be, uh, late to seller appointments, not prepared quite yet. I'm losing sleep over this, right? I'm having this stress in my life was just too much of, having all of this perfect system, but yet another bottleneck and it was paper and it was a printer. It was like, oh my gosh, this is such an age old problem. Aren't we past this yet? I remember being so frustrated by that. And it was just a cycle that just absolutely needed to end in my opinion. You know, being strapped to that much paper as a real estate professional. And, and I even laugh when I see, um, you know, really fancy listing agents when they when I see them at appointments, man, they even have more paperwork than I do. And it's even glossier. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine, right? How much time and energy it takes. And and if you don't have this right and if you have a printer mess up on you and you don't get to that seller appointment on time or you don't present very well, that's a lost transaction. 
<laughs> like we said at the beginning of our presentation, you guys said it. I mean, the average profit in our office is 42,000. I know a lot of you guys had similar numbers. I heard everything from, you know, 50 to 35 to 45. And yeah, we deal with some pretty big numbers, right? And so a loss of transaction over a printer. Cue the music, folks. This is what I felt like. You guys all know this scene from the office space, man. This, I was about to drag that printer out. One more lost transaction or one more, you know, high tense moment of, uh, you know, trying to print things out, trying to get, hustle out to a seller appointment, man. I'll never forget wanting to drag that printer out to the, to the back parking lot and just <laughs> baseball bat that thing. Oh my gosh. How many of you guys can relate? This was just too much, man. And frankly, I mean, like when, especially coming from a space that I hate paper, you know, like it's just so clutter and so archaic, it seems like uh, when everything else in our world is so digital. So um, I, that's really when I began the shift into diving into, we got to get away from paper. We got to get into the application world. Um, I, we have the, the iPad, we, you know, the, the Apple Pencil is out. Like, come on, folks, we, we got to be able to get this thing digital by now. And so I went on this massive search. I went through every single application. I went, you know, Evernote, OneNote, you name it, all these different note applications and looking for the features that it would take to uh, bring my presentation and my whole process uh, to a digital format. And uh, quite frankly, uh, it wasn't as easy as you would think. You know, I, I, it seemed like the technology was there. It seemed like it should have been obvious to uh, have a, a app or a system or something that would allow for paperless signing and, and for us to move past this. And what I found was, frankly, as I did more and more research, that a lot of these agents were doing digital presentations, but they were doing paperwork still. So it was like they did half of the, you know, they would do a digital presentation, then the the act of paperwork was just that, paperwork. So they were still stuck and bound to paper. So it was kind of like half the problem was solved. Um, you know, but if you can't execute docs, then you're still stuck to paper. So the search continued, you know, and, and frankly, at, at some of these times, I was doing short sales as well. I mean, how do you guys do short sales? Anybody do short sales in the in the audience right now? I would love to hear from you guys. Short sales are uh, can be difficult. We don't do too many of them now, but uh, in the past we have, and I'm sure as the cycle, real estate cycle corrects, and the short sales are going to be back in our world. But the point is, is that short sales even require more paperwork. And so I got to a spot where I had to um i got a battery powered printer and um a scanner a printer and um a whole stack of extra paper and everything i've had it in my car as a last you know um foolproof way that i couldn't wasn't going to miss out at a seller appointment uh it had gotten to that extreme moment where i just wasn't going to lose anymore over uh stupid things like printing paper and all of that or not having the right paperwork at the appointment so i needed to sign documents at their seller appointment on the spot that's so critical to me uh, leaving the point of sale uh is is um your chances of closing go drown down drastically so that's really really important important to me i realized that there had to be an app that would solve this issue there just must have been i i knew it because uh, i was if i didn't find something i knew i was going to office space my printer and and that would have been fun for 10 minutes but then i'm still stuck in the problem after after that so i i needed that shift and and i'll tell you the the fourth shift that we're on here this was the key. This is the key to unlock the puzzle to what really needed to happen. I found the app. I, I put together everything, all of my presentation in a digital format that allowed me to go from the old school, the old school pen and, and notepad and highlighter and all of that stuff to the new school. Ladies and gentlemen, I had brought everything finally over to the iPad and I was using the Apple Pencil and no more printing. I had everything in a, uh, a digital PDF format where I could actually handwrite on top of it. And it was, it is, <laughs> it was, it is awesome. It was an amazing shift. It was an amazing moment uh, because 
uh, I worked really, really hard to to achieve this in uh, this this specifically. And so um, now I went from having to print all of these papers all the time and customize them for each client to now it's all digital on an iPad, uh, scrolling um, with no hesitation in time and anything else, no paper whatsoever in my new process. So the same process that I had proven before, same credibility, same everything else, just now digital and even better, more enhanced. Uh, so same proven process, just now with no hesitation, no, no time, and 100% reliable. So technology is super important. And as my, my client Derek will tell you, technology has always been the cornerstone of my business model. And I always look for the best tools that will help my business grow. My search is over. Within a week of making this shift, the results were immediate. I, it's now my secret advantage that brings speed of implementation to my business. And I watch and I'm watching my business skyrocket. Yes, Derek, you are doing amazing work out there, and it was really, really cool. You are somebody that uh, was an early adopter of this, and, and it was it was awesome to get his text messages right out of the gate. Uh, man, he like literally got this and got contracts using the 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 system immediately. It was super cool. Um, man, Michael Gerber, super influence on me. And uh, if you have haven't read his books, I highly recommend. Uh, his books he makes uh, has several of them but the e-myth is what he's best known for and what he says here is if your business requires your presence you don't have a business you have a job michael gerber oh, man those are heavy words and that he talks about the the entrepreneurial triangle uh, in his book and and how every business has this or we all exist in this and it's kind of measuring what, how much time you spend as a technician in your business, how much time do you spend as a manager in your business, and then ultimately as an entrepreneur. And the, each one of these, uh, we exist in our business on, on all these levels. It's just a matter of how much time do we really spend in, in one of these categories versus the other. The, the people that have a true business that um, doesn't require them, that has scale to it, um, that is uh, gives them their time is the people that spend as much uh, or the vast majority of their time in the entrepreneurial portion of their business, and that's where they're uh, in inventing their business and, and um, you know working on their business and, and creating uh, more opportunity as opposed to people that are in more, spending more time in the manager and or the technician role, and this is really critical in this process that we're talking about as seller appointments. A lot of real estate agents find themselves uh, unknowingly or, or kind of um, trapped being in this technician role of the seller appointments. And that's what I knew I needed to get away from. Because quite frankly, that's where I was at. I was creating all these great results using the system and, and having the system evolve the way it has. Um, the results were really, really pouring in. And however, they were my results. They weren't my team's, re they weren't, I, I was still on me. There was, it was me doing all of this. And I knew I had to get away from uh, these results being my results. And I needed them to uh, create a system where I could hand this over to somebody else and have them get that same level of results. That was the fifth shift that I was really, really on the, the cusp of creating. And so here, um, every shift I've made up to this point would mean nothing ex to accomplish this end result of duplicating myself if it didn't make one final shift. This was the leverage that I'm talking about. I needed to figure out how to replace myself. And no, I didn't just go to Google and type that in because although, you know, Google does give me lots of great answers. Um, but in, in all seriousness, this is kind of that desperate moment of, shoot, I, I mean, maybe I did type it into Google because um, I really needed to crack this code and, and uh, I knew I was on the cusp. So shift one, leading into shift two, shift three, shift four, now shift five. This is the building process to what I'm going to talk about right here. And the fifth shift is when I realized that I could actually record the audio of the environment of a seller appointment. Okay, so I could use this system that I just created in the application and everything else, and not only to do the seller appointment and take my, my notes, 
handwritten and have my my deal analyzer and um, be able to have my comps and everything all digital live real time right there but i could also record the audio of the surrounding environment so um that way i could then critique my own um, seller appointment. I could use it for accountability. I could do so many things that, that unlocked the potential of having me hand this over to somebody else and say, you know what? Here's all of the system. Here's the tools. Here's the scripting. Here's the, um, the templates. Everything you need to go do a seller appointment, go for it. In fact, now you can hit the record button, record that whole experience, and bring it on back. So if there's any questions or something that we need to figure out together as a manager, we can listen to that seller appointment together, dissect it, and problem solve it. This was the key to unlock the growth of this whole system. And this is exactly when the ultimate seller appointment system really started to take shape. We broke down not only all of the different steps that we had achieved, but then broke it into individual training so we could now approach this with scale. So it's not just our team, it's we can now have multiple acquisition people running the same patterns, the same way, all the way through our system, which achieved massive growth for all of us. It was a really, really great moment. And this is exactly what one of my clients, Clint, had achieved as well. Using this system, he was able to make a massive jump in his own business. He said, making this shift has allowed me to increase my bottom line massively and scale my business quickly. Over the last six months, I've increased my transactions over 500%. And I owe it to all to Eric's amazing system. My family and I were overwhelmed with gratitude. Best decision I've ever made in my business for my family. Thank you, Clint. It's amazing to see your dedication and how you've implemented these systems. It's been a, a real inspiration to me and all of my, my clients. It's been really cool. So today, I made a couple promises. I promise that I would show how we quickly and accurately analyze properties and avoid deal killing price reductions. I promise that I'd show you the professionalism and credibility you must showcase to win transactions. I promise that we'd show you the one secret weapon that closes deals consistently for thousands of investors nationwide. I promise that I would give you the technology at your fingertips to leverage for your profits and business growth. I also showed you the hidden advantages to scaling your business and owning more of your time. So what is it that you need to win? It's becoming very clear. You need consistency and analysis. You need to have preparation and credibility so you're not convincing or letting your deals slip away. You need true solutions so you're not just working with lowball offers and losing deals to agents. You need the speed of implementation so you can sign the contract on the spot. But more importantly, you need the business systems so you can achieve the true acquisition advantage that you need in your marketplace. So you have a choice. This is your moment. You can take everything that we've talked about over the last 60 minutes and, and learn and implement and move forward with it. Or you can always just do what you've always done. And I'll tell you, this is a moment that can be very tremendously impactful to your business and to the future of your scale and, and your team and everything else. And so I invite you to join myself and my clients in jumping to the head of the line of the technology. And this is the system. This is everything that we've just gone over in all of its great detail. This is it. I'm so excited and I'm honored for you to have the ability to take advantage of this. This is uh, not only the system here, but we've also included a five-day in-depth master class so you can get all of the training and digest it at your pace. But we've also included a one-on-one -on -one consultation system guided session so that we really can join you in your success and have make sure that you are implementing it at the highest level. 
but I'd love to show you exactly what we're going to go through in this masterclass. So in day one on the masterclass, we're going to paint with a broad brush so you can use the ultimate seller appointment system, get you up and running and closing deals quickly. On day two, we're going to take a deep dive into how we use each component of the system to streamline your analysis and your seller appointment preparation so you're setting yourself up to win. On day three, we're going to expose the back-end office that we use to generate all of our leads for our seller appointments to leverage the ultimate seller appointment system to grow and scale your business. Day four, we're going to walk through how you can customize each component of this system so it matches your business exactly, as well as you're going to learn how you can implement this in other areas of your business just by understanding the system even better. And then last but not least, we're going to end the session with a one-on-one -on -one deep dive guided training session with our team so that we make sure that you're having tremendous success with our system immediately. Very, very important to us. Speed of implementation is everything. And we're here with our clients to help guide you through this. And this is exactly what we've done with uh, one of our clients here, Esteban. Within two weeks of using the ultimate seller appointment system, I was able to close an impossible $60,000 deal that I never could have without it. It's all about speed of implementation. Because of how fast I was able to make the transaction happen and because my numbers were accurate on the spot, it's taken my business to the next level. Yes, it has Esteban and it's been fun to watch. Very fun to watch. Another gentleman here, Mr. Chris, as a new investor, I couldn't imagine not having this system. I closed a $54,000 deal utilizing the on-the-spot contracts with confidence, and I displayed professionalism above and beyond even the most seasoned investors in my competitive market. Not only that, I beat out an aggressive listing agent on this purchase of the property. Now, man, this was a, a really cool case study, and, and I'm, I'm glad Chris is sharing this with us because he is somebody that with uh, relatively new to the industry or in, into real estate, but with a ton of sales experience. He, he is a, a 20 years of career in sales in general. So he was really kind of, uh, you know, ready to, to close transactions right away. You know, in, in his mind, it was going to be really quite easy to jump in into real estate. And what he learned right away is that although a lot of his sales skills applied to real estate, it was it he was missing that systematic approach. He was missing that consistency to really display the information in a way that allowed his sales skills to shine. And man, when we put it all together for him with the ultimate seller appointment system, it was just like rocket fuel. And uh, it was really, really awesome to see and, and continue to watch. So Chris is an animal. He's a great guy. Um, another case study here, one of my uh, re really good friends and, and somebody that I work really closely with uh, as a realtor. This is what she had to say. As a full-time realtor, using the ultimate seller appointment system has given me clarity to, in my presentations. With this system, I have been able to bridge the gap between agents and investors and tap into new lead source. I've exponentially increased the number of my transaction and I've become one of the top 1% agents in my market. And yes, you have Jekka, and it's amazing to uh, work alongside you because you uh, dedicate yourself to your systems. I love it. Another case study here. Uh, this is a, a, a great client of mine, Christian here. And he um, used this system and the guidance of the training to scale. So in the in the in-depth guidance of the trainings go so far and above and beyond simply using the powerful tool that is the ultimate seller appointment system it has allowed me to scale my business by over 600% in such a short time by teaching my team these strategies on how to level up your acquisition and close more deals. Now, Christian, uh, he's the man, and he's, he uh, is somebody that uses this system remotely. 
And this was really cool to see because he's been growing his acquisition team remotely and he it was critical that he had a way to scale that and keep everybody accountable. So once he was able to implement this system and get everybody on the same page and hold uh, that level of accountability and professionalism, boom, right through the roof. It was really, really fun to be a part of that and uh, really inspiring. So thank you, Christian, for sharing. You know, and, and just to, to wrap up here with and to summarize, who is this for? I hope it's really, really clear. This is for all real estate professionals, including seasoned investors, new investors, brokers, real estate agents, everybody, all real estate professionals who are looking to close more transactions, grow their business, and achieve true time and financial freedom, period, okay? If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Mr. Henry Ford, couldn't have said it any better myself. My man, I appreciate everything that you've brought to us. If you want, to pro if you want proven results, I have something special for you to take advantage of. It's my job to put it in front of you. It's your job to take advantage of it. So this is what we have. They have the ultimate seller appointment system. We have the five-day masterclass training on top of that. We have the one-on-one -on -one guided sessions to make sure that you get the results quickly. Let's go through it. Let's go through everything that we're going to bring to you. We're bringing the deal analyzer tool. We're bringing the rehab estimator tool, the acquisition planner, the offer packet template, our three option, our purchase and sale agreements that have three different options on them the client net sheet, my silver bullet for closing transactions, the listing agent tiered system. I saved thousands and thousands of dollars working with agents on this. Custom wholesale packet, our five-day online masterclass, our motivated seller landing pages, our one-on-one -on -one consultation and system guided session with a total value of over $10,000. Now, I know that this is well beyond the value of $10,000. And why do I know that? I know that because what's our average deal? We talked about this at the beginning of the call. We talked about like, hey, what, you know, what type of results are we able to achieve in, in our marketplace? And, and it's all different. I'm hearing averages from 35,000, 42,000. Yes, these are the types of profits that we use, but I wanna be conservative, right? Let's just use an average of $25,000. I'm sure we can all agree that, that our average profit of our deals are, are somewhere, give or take this, and, and largely that's conservative. So if all the system did was to get you one more closed deal, would it be worth it? Would you put $10,000 into a machine that spit out $20,000 every time? Of course you would. I mean, that's 100% ROI. That's, I mean, nobody is going to scoff at 100% ROI. We all drive really, really hard to get double digit returns on our money. And this is no different. In fact, I got to say that this, this one system has the power to bring infinite returns because there's scale to it. It's not just a one-time ROI. This is a system that will bring continual growth to your business, to your life, to your everything that you're doing in your real estate world on acquisitions. This is the system that can unlock that for you. So if all this system did was to just save you one deal, would it be worth over $10,000? Yeah, easily, right? Of course. Would it be worth it to you having a system that allowed you to have someone else convert leads for you? Wow. Could you spend more of your time doing what matters most to you? If you're not hustling and driving your business like crazy, doing everything, because you have a good system where people are doing the acquisitions at a high level for you, man, that's gonna unlock a lot of time. So you have two choices. You can continue to work in an org chart like this. This is how so many of the real estate professionals business looks. This was me years ago. Man, did I live this. And I'll tell you, this was a hard spot to be. Because, man, you are in the thick of it. You're in the woods. You're, you're, you're just, you are the one doing every aspect of your business. We all know how this feels. We got to get away from this. 
So if you were to implement this USAS system successfully, what would it be worth to you? Well, I got to tell you that we're not going to be charging this $10,000. So no, it's not going to be the $10,000, even though it is clearly worth, it pulls the value of $10,000. And on our website, our daily price is $4,997. But I got to tell you that we're not even going to charge you that $4,997 today. Okay? Today, for being on this webinar, for staying with us this long, for being dedicated to this training, I really want to say thank you and I appreciate that. And really, it tells me that you're an action taker. It tells me that you're ready to take change, to make change. So it's not the total of ten over $10,000. It's not just our normal everyday price of $4,997. Today, we have a special offer of everything for $997 one-time purchase of 997 and to take advantage of our special offer you can go to ultimate seller appointment.com forward slash i want in or simply click on the button below i want in it's a big button below you can click on that and that will take you right on forward so again what are we going to get you're going to get the deal analyzer tool you're going to get the rehab estimation tool the acquisition planner tool the offer packet template the three option purchase and sale agreement, our client net sheet, AKA silver bullet, the agent listing tiered system, our custom wholesale packet, our five day online masterclass, a motivated seller landing page, and a one-on-one -on -one consultation and system guided session. All of this together is our system and we're tremendously uh, excited about this. But I'll tell you, we wanted to put a cherry on top. We wanted to make this a no-brainer. So yes, there is more, okay? We, we went into the office and we wanted to make this offer so special, such a no-brainer for our clients that we went and looked at everything that we do in our business to create our results and our acquisition. We went through everything to figure out what else could we bring to the table that's gonna sharpen this offer, that's gonna bring it to the best offer possible. So we added another one-on-one -on -one quick start guided session. So you're, our team is holding your hand right through the beginning of this, of creating results with this system. Our seller appointment question set. So all of our scripts that we use at our seller appointments, we're going to throw those in. Our magic message. This is our, our whole follow-up guide. Everything that we do to create a, a high level of follow-up with our clients or a response from our follow-ups. It's our magic message. Our meeting with our, our home seller guide. So everything that we do step-by-step that step, break it down on how we uh, walk our, our seller appointments and everything inside of that. Our lead management scaling guide, so everything that we do to, to manage our leads in our office. Our motivated seller scripts for ISAs, so when you start expanding your team, if you already are working with an expanded team, how the scripts that we use on those. Our direct-to-seller client interview for scaling. We also are going to include our real estate agent listing interview guide, how we work with agents for on the MLS to create more opportunity. All of this is another huge value of over $2,000, and we're bringing it all to the table for our clients here at $9.97. Special offer. Click on the button below. I want in. The button below, that will get you started right away. It's This is the best offer that we could put together. It's our whole system. This is our acquisition system in its entirety, and it's been killing for years and years, not only for us in our office, but for all of our clients across the country, and it's your turn now. So take advantage of this opportunity and uh, click that button, and, and uh, let's make a change together. I'm excited for you. So we have a couple minutes here for some questions. I know there's a little bit of questions rolling in here. So we're going to go through that. Let's see. Does this include an iPad? It does not include an iPad. This You have to uh, have a, an iPad uh, to work the system. And or I see another question here. Does it work with a tablet? And it does uh, work with a tablet, just about any tablet, really, frankly. Um, but it was designed and, and it's optimized for the iPad. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I would highly recommend utilizing the iPad in your business. It's been tremendous for us. Um, I see another question. How long is this available? Nope, this is a special offer. Yep, 
so this is absolutely for this webinar only. Thank you so much. If I'm not supposed to bring that stuff up, then how is the seller going to know that I can close with cash? Okay, so you're you're referring to um, what when I'm working with a seller that I don't just bring up the cash, how I bring or close with cash and what timeline and everything else. Um, it, that's a, it's a good question. Now, the way I handle it and the way I teach people is to, you, you want to be able to offer that stuff if it's the right thing for them. So it's best if you elicit the questions or use questions to elicit whether that stuff would be impactful to them. Do they want a cash offer? Do what what closing timeline works for them? So it's it's a matter of how you do that approach uh, as opposed to whether you do it or not. So um, it's it's just the the dance that we we teach there. So, anyways, um, another question: Can this system be used in other areas of my business? Great question. Yes, it absolutely can be. Uh, it's really was designed as an acquisition system, but I have not only my team, but I've it would, other teams that have implemented this system have started using it in other areas of their business uh, because it's really, really effective. Uh, so yes, it can be. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can you explain why the Mayo formula doesn't or just doesn't uh, work really work anymore? Okay, the Mayo formula. Uh, the, man, this is one of my, my favorite topics, the Mayo formula, maximum allowable offer for those of you guys that don't know what that is. Now, that's just really a simple way and a uh, oversimplified way of coming up with your maximum allowable offer, in my humble opinion. So it's 70% of the ARV minus the repair cost is your maximum allowable offer. That's the way it was uh, always taught. Now, I'll tell you, this is why we have deal analyzers. This is why I created my system, essentially, is to get away from that, that quick napkin math or that ballpark math and get really into engineering transactions that, that uh, will close, that are exact. And uh, most of the time, people will default to that napkin math or oversimplified uh, version, Mayo formula, because they don't have a deal analyzer, because they can't make decisions really quickly on the spot. And so they use these oversimplified formulas. And I'll, so I'll tell you that this is exactly why we created our system. We want it to be accurate, we want it to be consistent, and we want it to be fast with our uh, offers. So good question. Um, let's see. Let's see. I need this system, Eric, but um, do I need an iPad? Couldn't I just use a tablet? So that's a great question. It is designed around uh, the iPad. It was uh, That's how I uh, created it so it does work the best on an iPad there are you can use it on other tablets uh, with a couple of workarounds and, and you know uh, adjustments but um, it I would have to say that it's it's really optimized for the iPad so um, I would highly recommend it uh, using it on the iPad uh, let's see here I'm sh I'm for sure investing into the system uh, so I need more leads. Do you have more trainings on how to generate leads? Oh, great, really good question. And as a matter of fact, we do. We have, we have a whole slew of different trainings on how to generate leads. In fact, um, there, a really good spot to uh, where we talk a lot about that and go into in depth on how we generate our leads is our YouTube channel. So go to YouTube and type in real estate funnel systems. You'll get to our YouTube channel. It's a great place to uh, not only follow along with all of the different systems and tools that we use, but uh, how the strategies that we're using to generate leads. So um, that and we also have a done for you marketing service. So that's another topic for another webinar and another time. Um, but if you're interested, of course, reach out, raise your hand, uh, because we do work with clients on a private done for you marketing uh, capacity. So um, thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Now, um, how many markets across the country do you personally invest in? Good question. So uh, me personally, I'm in San Diego County. This is where I do my active investing. I do some passive investing in other markets. Uh, but I also have worked with clients and run marketing campaigns in uh, markets all across the country. So uh, I'm in I'm actively marketing in over 10, 10 different markets across the country. So, um, you know, a little bit of a convoluted answer there. But, uh, yeah, we're very, very active in the real estate market in all across the country. 
Uh, and I got time for one last question here. Let's see. Uh, you mentioned you had clients. Do you do coaching? So, yeah, I mean, I just kind of alluded to that in the sense that uh, we, we do have a done for you marketing uh, side of our company. We have a consulting side of our company that we work with people on, on consulting efforts in real estate. So uh, the answer is yes. And, um, and we focus all of our consulting on marketing and acquisitions. So in the real estate space, that's where we focus all of our time and energy is in the marketing and acquisitions. Uh, so if you want to grow your business from the marketing and acquisitions phase, and that's usually where the growth begins, uh, raise your hand, let's talk, and I'm sure I can help you. So um, wonderful. Well, man, you guys have been really good. I really appreciate everybody's time. I'm getting tons of thank yous and, and a lot of appreciation. So, uh, man, I'm really excited for everybody to jump on board with us, work with us on this, the our ultimate seller appointment system. And I just want to remind you guys, this is special pricing for the webinar. This pricing is only going to be around for another 10 minutes as we keep the website up. So if you are interested and you want to grow your business and you want to take advantage of this one-time offer on this webinar, you, I would strongly recommend hit, take, hitting that button right now because uh, it is, it's not going to last. We're, as soon as the, the webinar is over, the page will expire and the, the deal is going to be done. So uh, again, I really, really appreciate everybody's time. This is an absolute no-brainer. I'm really excited to work with you. Uh, as soon as you click on that big button below, you can click on that. I want in. We'll see you on the other side, on the other side of this webinar, and we're going to get rocking with you. Uh, super excited. We'll see you there.